Subsidies are widely used by governments around the world, and the way they are considered, whether they are thought to be good or bad subsidies, depends on how they are perceived to impact the environment and the fish stocks. A negotiation process at the World Trade Organization is currently taking place to prohibit harmful subsidies, the ones that are thought to negatively impact the environment and fish stocks, the ones that contribute to overfishing and overcapacity. But very little emphasis has been placed on how subsidies impact on people. You've probably heard before that a good subsidy for the environment might not be a good subsidy for people. There's actually more than that. It's about how subsidies are designed and who really benefits from them. In order to achieve environmental, economic and social sustainability, subsidies need to be designed with people at the very center. For example, the distribution of subsidies is not fair. And there's evidence that shows that. That the large-scale fleet mainly benefits from them instead of a small or artisanal scale fleet on which many local communities depend. At IIED, we want to go deeper and look at the impacts of subsidies on women, youth, indigenous groups, or other vulnerable social groups that are not taken into account currently. We hope governments will take concrete actions to end harmful subsidies. Equity considerations should be included when defining whether a subsidy is good or bad and not only their environmental impacts. In doing so, a subsidy could be reformed in a way that brings benefits to both fish and people.